authorities will be very much focused on the impact of the coronavirus outbreak uh, in the coming weeks. And so having to think about elections where you have to staff polling stations, uh, get all the paperwork there, uh, even if you do postal votes, uh, that simply won't be enough, as well as the fact that you probably think that lots of people uh, will be staying at home at that point. Uh, either uh, isolate themselves because they think they have the virus or they have it. So for all those reasons, the government has decided to postpone this uh, for a year. Vicky Young at Westminster. Time for the latest headlines now on BBC News. The World Health Organization declares Europe the focal point of the global coronavirus outbreak. The Premier League, English Football League and Scottish FA fixtures are all off until April and there's no Six Nations rugby this weekend. In the USA, President Trump declares a national emergency as it's confirmed 46 states have cases of coronavirus. Well, let's stay with uh, the USA. The federal government has botched this absolutely out of control. They, there's been little to no testing. Um, they've been completely misinforming people. That what you're hearing has changed from one day to the next. He doesn't believe in science, for heaven's sakes. Could I say that Trump's completely clueless? That's all about him. In the fragrant setting of the Rose Garden, he addressed what for many Americans is the most frightening crisis of his presidency. I am officially declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. He was asked about his controversial European travel ban and why it didn't include the UK, a decision that's clearly now under review. We are looking at it based on the new numbers that are coming out, and we may have to include them in the list of countries that we will, uh, you could say, ban or whatever it is during this period of time. But yeah, the numbers have gone up fairly precipitously over the last 24 hours, so we may be adding that. His tone tonight was self-congratulatory. And there were still indications he doesn't quite get the magnitude okay, I like that. of a crisis he's minimised for weeks. Care and public health professionals to plan together. The challenge is introducing measures that can be sustained. It might be that stopping visitors might help their physical health, but it might have a really poor impact on their mental, emotional health. And getting that balance right to protect older people will have to be kept under constant review. Alison Holt, BBC News. They can then scan and drop these off for delivery to nearby labs. And finally, a digital food specialist in Japan has been 3D printing sweet treats based on weather data. Tokyo's Open Meals has used algorithms to create natural flavoured designs where wind speed alters shape, pressure levels dictate size and temperature determines colour. Now that is cooking up a storm. We're all being told that the best way to combat the coronavirus is by washing our hands thoroughly with soap and water. Arrangements there, then I'm afraid she's in quite a tricky situation because she's got no leverage as to get, getting her money back. If, if she's booked with a UK tour operator, then they absolutely must refund and she should follow that up, possibly even ending up in the